Last week, Nigerian Air Force said its troops on Operation Lafayette Dole decimated a Boko Haram terrorist camp and neutralized some of their fighters at a settlement called Arboko in Borno State. Air Force Director of Public Relations and Information, Air Commodore Ibikune Daramola, disclosed this in a statement issued to newsmen in Abuja. He explained that the Alpha Jet destroyed the insurgents camp while providing close air support to troops of 82 Brigade, Nigerian Army. He added that Nigerian Air Force operating in concert with surface forces would sustain its efforts to completely destroy all remnants of the terrorists in the Northeast. The Nigerian Army in the week under review said that a viral video showing men in military camouflage beating up an undressed man is most likely fake. A statement signed by the acting director of Army Public Relations, Colonel Segiru Musa in Abuja said, the style of camouflage being worn by the soldiers in the video was no longer in use, adding that the men could be imposters. He said with the silent professional transformation going on in the army, under the leadership of the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Yusufo Buratai, one will be doubtful of the conduct of these fake soldiers, of these fake soldiers as shown in the video recording. Colonel Musa, however, promised to investigate the matter and make its findings public, promising to bring anyone found culpable to book. In the video, which has been trending for quite some time on social media, men suspected to be cadets from the Nigerian Defense Academy are seen slapping a man who is wearing only boxers. Chief of Defense Staff General Bayomi Gabriel Lonishakin last week commended the Nigerian Army for responsibly and proactively establishing a state-of-the-art election security monitoring situation center at the Nigerian Army Headquarters Cyber Warfare Command. General Loni Shekin was at the Election Security Monitoring Center to assess its state of readiness as a strong potential for intelligence and information gathering and sharing for the Nigerian Army units and formations across the nation. He applauded the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Yusuf Brutai, for his foresight in establishing a befitting Elections Security Monitoring Center for the benefits of the country. Earlier, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Yusuf Brutai, said that after careful observation of the cycle of violence we recall several in the past electioneering processes, the Nigerian army has thus deemed it necessary to adopt a proactive and responsive posture that would allow army to better respond to early signs of insecurity before they could escalate into a major security challenge. He further said that it is in this light that the Nigerian army has launched Operation Safe Conduct and also gone ahead to establish the Situation Room for real-time monitoring of the 2019 general elections. Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Tuko Yusufu Buratai last week demanded for total loyalty from officers and men of the Nigerian army to the federal government. He made this known during an expanded weekly meeting with principal staff officers, PSOs, general officers commanding GOCs, and some field commander at the Army Headquarters Abuja. According to the Army Chief, the foundation of military professionalism is discipline, and without discipline, an army cannot stand. General Bratai also noted that the expanded meeting was to review security strategies put in place for the presidential and national assembly elections on Saturday. He therefore called on army commanders to work with all stakeholders, interest groups and agencies to avert any act by any individual, groups or entities that seeks to undermine Nigeria's democratic process. The newly established Nigeria Army University Bureau in Brono State last week matriculated 1,016 students for the 2018-2019 academic session. Speaking at the maiden matriculation ceremony in Bureau, the Vice Chancellor David Magui said the students were admitted based on requirements set by the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAM. He urged the students to shun all forms of vices, such as courtesan, examination map practice, hooliganism, and indecent dressing, and assured them that the institution had taken measures to ensure the safety of lives and property in the university and host community. In his speech, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Toko Yusuf Bratai, who is also the Chairman of the Governing Council of the institution, commended the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, for ensuring the establishment of the university. The Chief of Army Staff, represented by legal advisor of the institution, Major General Chukwe Meka Okonkwo, while commending members of the Implementation Committee of the institution for committing their time and resources to see the university became a reality. 
called on the newly matriculated students to be law-abiding and be productive citizens of the society. Last week, five members of Boko Haram terrorists made their Waterloo as they, along with others, attempted woefully to ransack a military base at Boni Yadi in Gujba local government area of Yobe State. Acting Director Army Public Relations, Kone Segir Musa, who confirmed this in Abuja, said the terrorists appeared prepared for the attack as they approached the military location with four gun trucks, one mine-resistant ambush protection, one Mowak, and assorted arms and ammunitions. Kone Musa said that an officer and three soldiers lost their lives during the encounter, while five soldiers were wounded and in stable condition. It would be recalled that the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukor Buratai, recently commended the successes recorded by troops in recent times in the various operational arenas, especially in the Northeast, and enjoined all personnel to remain resolute, alert, and decisive, as well as professional in the discharge of the One Rust National Assignment. Nigerian Air Force, in the past week, provided a mobile jet A1 fueling facility to enable the refueling of NAV helicopters that would operate out of the 23 Quick Response Wing in Goroje in its quest to further enhance security on the Mambila Plateau in Taraba State. A statement issued by the Director of Public Relations and Information, Nigerian Air Force, Air Commodore Ibikule Daramola, revealed that the action was in fulfillment of the promise made by the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Masha Sidika Bubaka, during his maiden operational visit to the 23 Quick Response Wing in Taraba State. According to Air Commodore Dramola, the Chief of the Air Staff had promised that he would continue to do all within his power to provide the needed logistic support and resources that would enable the wing function more effectively and efficiently in ensuring peace and security in the area. He added that Nigerian Air Force has provided motorcycles as well as other equipment and tactical gear to special forces personnel in the wing to enable them more effectively carry out their assigned task. He therefore encouraged the public to go out en masse to exercise their voting rights as their security is assured. Nigerian Air Force during the week under review said the purchase of its 453 base service group in Kaduna have arrested 10 suspected togs and bandits and recovered 57 livestock. The commander of the base service group, Air Commodore Idi Sani, made a disclosure at a press briefing in Kaduna. Air Commodore Sani said that on February 16, a patrol team from Bay Service Group on Operation Safe Conduct intercepted seven suspected thugs and bandits armed with dangerous weapons around the Hajj camp, Mandu. He also noted that around Neku Junction in Mandu area of Kaduna, another suspect, Adirarouf Yusuf, a.k.a. Gorilla Fighter, was arrested in company of one Mohamed Belu along with a Volkswagen Golf 3 car. Air Commodore Sani, however, disclosed that the suspects would be handed over to the police for further investigation and prosecution. Items recovered from the suspects include two Volkswagen Golf cars, eight dang guns, a knife, and eight cutlasses. Nigerian Air Force Officers' Wives Association, NAFOWA, last week graduated about 260 participants in the third edition of its skills acquisition and vocational training program in Abuja. Speaking during the graduation ceremony, the chief of the air staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, applauded the association for its initiative, which reflected his vision for human capacity development through robust and result-oriented training for enhanced professional performance. Air Marshal Abubakar, who lauded the initiator, said the program will serve as a means of financial independence, self-reliance, and personal development. According to him, the empowerment has impacted positively on Nigerian Air Force operations. The chief of the air staff were extolling Nafowa for their efforts, support, tolerance, and encouragement, therefore urged the beneficiaries to make good use of their starter parks. In her welcome address, the national president, Nigerian Air Force Officers' Wives Association, Hajia Hafsat Abubakar, noted that the aim of the program is to contribute the association's quarter to the federal government's efforts in reducing unemployment amongst youths and women, including widows and orphans. Highlight of the 12 weeks of intensive training event featured various cultural dances, exhibition of products made by the graduating students, and presentation of certificates amongst others. Nigerian Army, within the week under review, re-emphasized that none of its personnel is allowed to be involved in political campaigns and has warned its personnel to stay clear of politics. 
the acting director of Army Public Relations, Kone Segeru Musa, said in Abuja that the Nigerian Army has made it sufficiently and consistently clear that none of its personnel will be involved in political campaigns, escort of VIPs for political missions, and above all, aiding or supporting any political party. Kone Musa noted that the Army's rules of engagement and code of conduct have not assigned any political role to the Nigerian Army, saying that Nigerian Army's involvement starts and ends with the provision of peaceful and secured environment for the conduct of the 2019 general elections. Oh, Jimmy. Hey. Oh, Jimmy.